I was really amazed by the the city, the the color of the city, the buildings and the roads and the overall the variety of people. It's a city which accommodates all kinds of people. Howrah station is uh, one of the oldest stations in India. Has a footfall of about 10 lakh uh, passengers every day. That way, it has uh, done a wonderful work of connecting eastern India to the rest of the country. Howrah railway station and its vicinity is highly populated, and it's with uh, all kinds of people. A lot of poor people also, a lot of working class people. So usually, when you look at the migrant people. They have very little luggage. In the villages, people don't have much belongings. Material belongings are very, very little. But wherever they are, what connects them to their own homeland is their own memories. People carrying their memories, and the railway station taking them to further places. Howrah is a very important place for the, the people of the country, and art is a very good medium to interact with people. So I approached Art India Foundation and Asian Paints, and we formally applied to them uh, to do a project here. And they have chosen the Rivera Wall uh, for this uh, Donut Wall project. That is a place uh, where a lot of people come by taxis or autos or totos, which are the e-rickshaws. Like Howrah Station is a meeting point for parts of India. This becomes a meeting point for the people coming or going from Howrah Station. I am interested in public art, especially street art, because that's where I can actually engage with people. For me, it's a it's a community experience. Nature of the large number of people coming and going, uh, passing through the station. What I portray is people carrying their memories, memories of their own homeland. People will feel that this is my artwork. It is showing my story, so I have to protect it. I have to own it, and I have to talk about it. The mural becomes a source of conversation.